What's going on, Z Nation, and welcome to another edition of ZSPN. I'm your host, Zaid, here. And today, guys, we're going to be talking about the Los Angeles Lakers versus the Indiana Pacers tonight. But before anything, like always, please make sure to like this video, subscribe to the channel, share my videos all over Facebook, Twitter, all the good social media stuff. Now, as of, of today's game against the... Uh, the Indiana Pacers, obviously, it was an embarrassing blowout that the Lakers suffered uh, against the uh, the Indiana Pacers. And honestly, uh, you could really tell by the motions of the Lakers and the coaching staff and, you know, just how the, the Lakers uh, are, you know, especially our young core are actually feeling from this uh, sort of uh, game today because obviously they're in the trade rumors and honestly that that's just basically what it is their names are in the and in the in the trade rumor mill and obviously it's really taking a toll on this lakers team for these past couple of games and obviously you know with the return of lebron james obviously he like scored 18 points and you know there's a good side to that because, you know, he did uh, reach a milestone, reaching 32,000 um, uh, scoring and obviously being the youngest to ever do it. So, you know, congratulations to LeBron James. But, you know, we still got a loss. It was an embarrassing loss uh, against the uh, the Pacers. And um, like I said, I mean, you can just tell by the emotions of the Lakers and, you know, LeBron James and our young core, I mean, they are, you know, not really mashing well, you know, you know, there was no connection whatsoever. And when it came, to, and it also has to do with the coaching as well. Um, coaching wise, you know, basically Luke Walton lost, in my opinion, the, uh, the locker room. I mean, with the whole heated uh, uh, exchange that they, that that he had, you know, with uh, the veterans like uh, Michael Beasley and uh, JaVale McGee, uh, all, you know, those certain players obviously just made a sort of, it sort of divided uh, the the locker room and uh, the coaching staff. And which, by the way, I just think, uh, um, you know, it just also has to do with trade rumors. I mean, they're involved in trade rumors and it's just, one of those uh, type of moments where, you know, is this going to continue on? I mean, obviously, the Lakers still have two days left for them to make any sort of moves uh, in, before the trade deadline. And I'm not sure if Anthony Davis and the uh, Pelicans will still be involved with the Lakers uh, before the trade deadline. I mean, obviously, the Lakers pulled out uh, out of the uh, any conversations about uh you know, the Anthony Davis uh, trade and um, obviously for good reasons, in my opinion, because, you know, the Pelicans are asking too much from the uh, from the Los Angeles Lakers when it came to, um, you know, adding more to this uh, sort of offer that the Lakers have made to them. And uh, I need to correct myself. Uh, I did make a video about, you know, the, the Lakers pulling out against the, uh, you know, with the uh, Anthony Davis trade. Uh, I'll put a link in this video so you guys will check it out. But uh, uh, obviously, uh, I misspoke when it came to uh, you know Anthony, Anthony Davis liking a uh, Instagram uh, photo on the uh, Bleacher Report um, Instagram page. Uh, obviously, I did not know that the Lakers made another offer to uh, the. To the Pelicans, and uh, what was in that uh, sort of package deal was, uh, you know, for Alonzo Ball, Kyle Kuzma, Brandon Ingram, and I believe uh, it was for uh, KCP and Josh Hart and Aviza Zubac, and I believe two first round picks. I might be wrong. I'm just guessing on top of my head here. I'll put the photo and the uh, the link of, uh, you know, not really the link. I mean, just basically the photo of how, what uh, Anthony Davis liked on the uh, uh, the Bleacher Report uh, Instagram page that the type of post that I'm talking about is basically this one. So um, obviously, uh, you know, that sort of situation is what made the Lakers uh, tonight really showed that they were just very divided. And you could just tell by, uh, I mean, I'm just, I'm just guessing here. I'm not, I don't think it's true. Um, you know, 
there was like a like a moment in the game where you know the camera panned at, at uh, the Lakers bench and um you know uh, LeBron James was just basically sitting by himself with the rest of the uh the Lakers squad was just a, you know sitting sitting maybe three chairs um away from LeBron James I I don't want to go really into like if that's like a huge deal or anything I don't think so because obviously it's it's not anything for me anything huge but some people are thinking it is because of those trade rumors and you guys we even heard chance <coughs> excuse me when it came to um you know Brandon Ingram uh the Indiana fans out there you know they were chanting that LeBron James uh, wants to trade you or something like that it's some sort of chant like that I'll put the uh, the exact words and when that sort of uh, chanting happened and obviously um, just honestly the trades has been it taken it has taken a really big toll on this Lakers team especially from our young core and um, and obviously, you know, it all centers around Le LeBron James and his future with the Lakers. Because, you know, he did not just come, let's just be honest here. I mean, he did not just come to the Lakers just to team up with our young core. I mean, obviously, he wants to win a championship in L.A. And also, he wants to make a name for himself and, you know, become a, you know, a champion there. And be recognized as, you know, one of the greatest Lakers uh, to ever do it. And, um... And also, you know, he just wants to pair up with some superstars. And I believe it's going to happen one day. But I just, I guess, you know, for this trade deadline, it's just not going to happen. Uh, you know, if if the if the uh, if the uh, talks between the Lakers and the Pelicans uh, are just, you know, are done, or they could possibly revisit that this sort of conversation in these next couple of days, or just. Uh, they could just probably end this and just wait for Anthony Davis in 2020. I mean, if he is still, you know, considering to sign with a one-year, not, I'm sorry, not sign, but um, join a team for uh, just a rental. And obviously, he would just be a free agent in 2020. So, obviously, it still remains to be seen. But like I said, guys, I mean, obviously, it was an embarrassing game. The Lakers basically didn't try enough and... I can understand that maybe some of you might think, uh, maybe because of injuries, Zade. I mean, obviously, you know, Josh Hart is out and, you know, Lonzo is out. And, you know, Kyle Kuzma might be still dealing with his own injuries himself. And, and LeBron James, you know, he's just trying to be more careful out there. I mean, I'm trying to look at more scenarios of how this would have ended if the Lakers, you know, lost it the way that they lost. But obviously... It's all in, in in black and white, guys. I mean, obviously, you know, it's because of trade rumors and trade talks and all centering around LeBron James and, you know, the Lakers wanting to bring another superstar to team up with LeBron James. So um, that's the whole issue and my own personal opinion about it. So, you guys, if you have any thoughts about this game, really, uh, please comment down below. Give me your thoughts about it because, obviously, um, it was an embarrassing game, disappointing, and the Lakers should have tried hard enough. And I believe right now they are, I believe they're like 28 or maybe 27 uh, wins and maybe 27 losses, something like that. They, I know they're tied in, in wins and losses as of right now. So obviously it's not going so well for the Lakers and, um, you know, uh, I, I, I just, I'm not trying to say that the Lakers can reach the playoffs. Obviously, they can. I still believe they can. But, uh, um, you know, still remains to be seen, um, you know, how this record will affect the Western Conference when it comes to the Lakers and uh, uh, for them to basically, uh, you know, compete for a playoff run. Uh, Mr. Amis to be seen. So, guys, please comment down below. Like, subscribe to the channel. And also, guys, I did make a video about uh, the Lakers recently making a trade uh, to the uh, Detroit Pistons for um, Reggie uh, Bullock in exchange for um, Spear McKaylu and a second-round pick. I'll make that. I already made the video, but... 
I, I honestly go to, you know, upload this one first, or it could be the other way around. I mean, I made those, I made that video um, before this one. So um, you guys get to see some two uploads uh, tonight. So uh, please give me your thoughts about those two, and especially, uh, you know, the trade that the Lakers have made. And uh, I'll see you on the next video. Uh, we can just hope that the Lakers will possibly make some more trades, uh, possibly go down, uh, possibly tomorrow or maybe on the trade deadline on uh, Thursday, February 7th. So um, still remains to be seen if the Lakers will make any more moves uh, after this recent uh, trade that they made. So uh, let's just, uh, it still remains to be seen. So please comment down below, like, subscribe, and I'll see you all in the next video. Thank you so much for watching. Go Lakers. Peace.